So I wanted to read the Bible with you today. I read something that really kind of stuck out to me, and I thought maybe I ought to share this with you guys. So it says here in Matthew chapter 16, verse 5, starting in verse 5. I'll give you a second if you want to grab a Bible or a nap. So Matthew chapter 16, verse 5. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Got it? Awesome, all right. Later, after they crossed the other side of the lake, the disciples discovered they had forgotten to bring any bread. Watch out, Jesus warned them. Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. At this they began to argue with each other because they hadn't had had they hadn't brought any bread. Hey hun, you wanna read the Bible with me? Come on, girl, let's go. Jesus knew what they were saying, so he said, You have so little faith. What are you arguing with each other about having no bread for? Don't you understand even yet? Don't you remember the 5,000 I fed with the 4,000, with the five loaves of bread and the baskets of leftovers you picked up? Or the 4,000 I fed with seven loaves and the large baskets left of leftovers you picked up? Why can't you understand that I'm not talking about bread. So again I say, beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Then at last they understood he wasn't speaking about the yeast and bread, but about the deceptive teaching of the Pharisees and Sadducees. So fam, I, I want to talk to you today about something that is another very hotly debated topic in Christianity. And it has to do with the teachings of some people. Not everyone who is a clergy member and not every church actually proclaims the true gospel. Now, this is not to say that you can't find the true gospel in their church. This is not saying that you can't find the true gospel through them. God can use anything. If he can use a donkey, he can use anything. But what you need to be aware of is that you're not taking in false doctrines. There are going to be people out there that are going to tell you that um, just because it says it in the Bible doesn't mean that you have to follow it. That's not true. There are going to be people out there who will split hairs in the Bible. They will tell you this is true for this group but not for this group. That's not always true either. And they will tell you that certain things that have been declared of God are not such as speaking in tongues. Now, I'm not here to discourage you from looking into a church that you're interested in. By all means, please go in. If you don't feel the Spirit of God, though, if you don't feel His movement, and you'll believe me, you will be able to tell, if you do not feel Him moving, then you will be better off taking and going somewhere else. Mostly because it is very easy for us to be influenced by our fellow man. There is not a day that goes by that I have seen, that I have not seen people taking in what people are saying as being fact. That's why I tell you guys, don't just believe me. Don't just go by what I say. Go look for yourself. Read. Please. This is your best weapon against the lies of the devil. If it doesn't say it in here, then you shouldn't be doing it. Or you shouldn't be listening to it. Believe me when I say that everything that is spoken of here on earth should be tested through the word of God. I mean, that's how I've done it. And I'm not saying that there isn't other ways. I mean, I've seen God reach out to people who didn't even know the Bible existed, had no idea, and he reached out to them and touched them, and he changed their lives, and he, they follow him, and they follow his commands. But they've never picked up a Bible. They've never gone into a church. They've never heard anyone speak about Jesus. Isn't that incredible? That... Even if we don't have the Bible, 
we're still saved because God is not going to give up on you. He loves you so much. You got to understand he loves you dearly, deeply, immeasurably more than what you can ever think or imagine. He has great things planned for your life and a purpose just for you. I got to say that one of my most favorite books in the Bible actually happens to be about a woman named Esther. And in Esther's story, she, um, she found herself in a place where she really didn't want to be, did not expect to be, did not think that she was qualified for. And maybe you felt like that in the past, or maybe you feel like something you're being drawn to is way above your league. I want to pray with you right now that you would be guided by the Spirit and not by your flesh. So if you could, just go ahead and close your eyes with me. Go ahead and bow your head. Abba, we come to you today together, and we ask that you would please be with each and every one of these people, whether they see this live or after the fact, or if it's a friend that shows them. Even if they haven't seen it, Lord, we still pray for them. My Lord God, I ask you please to lift each and every one of these people up and to show them in the Spirit who you are and what it is that you desire from your people. Teach them day by day, minute by minute, of what it is that you expect from them so that they will know that you don't just love them for what they do, but you will love them unconditionally. I ask you please to guide each and every person to their purpose in life, that they would know everything that they're supposed to do. And I ask you to please bless them with divine discernment, that they may know the difference between a spirit that has come from you to speak to them and Satan's minions and their lies. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for each and every one of these people, and I plead the blood of Jesus over them and their path today, that the day might be the day that they find their purpose in you. This we, this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, fam. I'm so happy that you joined me today. I miss you guys so much, and I promise you on the 13th, I will be back if they unlock my console that day. <laughs> If not, I'm going to try to do a stream on the 14th. Now, mind you, it might not be as long as I want it to be on the 14th, but if I have the chance to, I'm going to try to do it on the 13th ahead of time. That way I have the time that I want to do what I want to do. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, you guys can hit me up anytime you want to chit-chat or you have a question or a request or you just... you you're really curious about something that I've been talking about, by all means, get a hold of me. I have no problem with that. My, um, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and it's under HappyPika3432. Just look for my logo. All right, fam, I'm going to have to get off of here because I am at work, and I do got to go do, well, work. <laughs> so I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Maybe not. It all depends on how open my schedule is. But I love you guys so much. God bless, peace, and be happy, fam. Bye!